Imagine making a phone call, you dial a number, and within seconds you're connected. But have you ever wondered what happens behind the scenes, in the invisible network that makes this communication possible? This is where SS7 comes in. SS7, or signaling system number 7, is a global network. It acts like the backbone of telecommunications. It's a hidden language that connects phone calls, messages, and data across the world. Developed in the 1970s, SS7 was designed to be efficient and reliable. It handles critical tasks like call routing, billing, and network management. Think of it as the air traffic control system for your phone calls. SS7 ensures that your calls reach the right destination. It also helps manage the flow of information between different networks. Without SS7, our communication systems would be chaotic and unreliable. Whenever you make a call, send a text, or even use mobile data, SS7 is working silently in the background. It enables seamless communication by handling a complex series of operations. For instance, when you roam internationally, SS7 ensures you stay connected. It transfers your phone number to the foreign network and manages billing information. SS7 also plays a crucial role in features like caller ID and call forwarding. When you receive a call, SS7 helps your network identify the caller's number and display it on your phone. Similarly, when you forward a call, SS7 routes the call to the designated number. In essence, SS7 is the invisible conductor orchestrating the symphony of global communication. While SS7 is essential for modern communication, it wasn't designed with security as a top priority. Built on trust between network operators, SS7 has inherent vulnerabilities. These weaknesses can be exploited by those with malicious intent. One major flaw is the lack of robust authentication mechanisms. This means it's relatively easy for unauthorized entities to gain access to the network. Once inside, hackers can exploit SS7's capabilities for nefarious purposes. This includes tracking user locations, intercepting communications, and even disrupting services. The very features that make SS7 efficient also make it vulnerable to attack. This makes it a prime target for hackers, spies, and criminals seeking to exploit sensitive information. Hackers exploit SS7 vulnerabilities by posing as legitimate network operators. They send carefully crafted messages to the network, tricking it into revealing sensitive information or performing unauthorized actions. One common attack vector is the use of SS7 signaling units. These are like digital envelopes that carry instructions between networks. By manipulating these units, attackers can intercept calls, reroute messages, and even deny service to legitimate users. Another method involves exploiting SS7's location tracking capabilities. By sending specific queries to the network, hackers can pinpoint a user's location with alarming accuracy. This information can be used for stalking, surveillance, or even targeted attacks. The ease with which hackers can exploit SS7 is a serious concern, highlighting the urgent need for enhanced security measures. One of the most unsettling aspects of SS7 attacks is the ability to track a person's location in real time. By exploiting SS7's location-based services, hackers can follow your every move with surprising accuracy. They can determine your current location, past movements, and even predict your future whereabouts. This information can be used for a variety of malicious purposes, including stalking, kidnapping, and even corporate espionage. Imagine a scenario where a jealous partner uses SS7 to track their significant other's every move or a rival company spying on a CEO's whereabouts to gain a competitive advantage. These are not just hypothetical scenarios. They are real threats made possible by SS7 vulnerabilities. Section 6. Intercepting Conversations, Listening in on Private Calls SS7 attacks aren't limited to location tracking. They can also be used to eavesdrop on private conversations. Hackers can exploit SS7 to intercept and record phone calls, including voice calls, SMS messages, and even encrypted messaging apps. This is done by rerouting calls through their own servers or by exploiting vulnerabilities in the encryption protocols used by certain apps. Imagine the implications of this, sensitive business negotiations being recorded by competitors, private conversations between journalists and their sources being monitored by governments, or even personal calls between loved ones being listened to by strangers. The ability to intercept communications through SS7 poses a significant threat to privacy, confidentiality, 
and even national security. Section 7. The Real-World Dangers of SS-7 Attacks The dangers of SS-7 attacks are not theoretical, they have real-world consequences. These attacks exploit vulnerabilities in the signaling system NUM7, a protocol suite used worldwide by telecom networks to manage and route calls and messages. In 2014, it was revealed that intelligence agencies were exploiting SS-7 to conduct mass surveillance on a global scale. This revelation sent shockwaves through the cybersecurity community and raised serious concerns about privacy and data security. Similarly, in 2016, a group of security researchers demonstrated how SS-7 vulnerabilities could be used to track the location of a U.S. congressman in real time. This demonstration was a wake-up call, showing just how easily these vulnerabilities could be exploited. These incidents highlighted the urgent need for better security measures to protect against SS-7 attacks. The cybersecurity community has since been working tirelessly to develop solutions, but the threat remains ever-present. The potential victims of SS-7 attacks are vast and varied. They include individuals, businesses, governments, and even critical infrastructure. The implications of such attacks can be far-reaching and devastating. The consequences of these attacks can range from financial losses to reputational damage, affecting both personal and professional lives, from privacy violations to threats to national security. The stakes are incredibly high, and the need for robust security measures has never been more critical. It's clear that SS-7 vulnerabilities pose a serious and growing threat to our interconnected world. As technology continues to evolve, so too must our efforts to safeguard our communications and data. Section 8. Protecting Yourself. Measures to Counter SS-7 Threats. While SS-7 vulnerabilities present a significant challenge, there are measures individuals and organizations can take to mitigate the risks. These measures are essential in safeguarding personal and sensitive information from potential attackers. One crucial step is to be aware of the threat. Awareness is the first line of defense against any cyber threat, including SS-7 vulnerabilities. By understanding how SS-7 attacks work, individuals can be more vigilant about their online and offline security practices. Using strong, unique passwords, enabling two-factor authentication, and regularly updating these security measures can significantly reduce the risk. Being cautious about the information shared online is another essential step in reducing the attack surface. Limiting the amount of personal information available publicly can make it harder for attackers to exploit SS-7 vulnerabilities. For businesses and organizations, implementing robust security measures is paramount. This includes deploying firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and other advanced security solutions to monitor and protect their networks from potential breaches. These security solutions are designed to detect and respond to suspicious activities in real time, providing an additional layer of protection. Regularly updating software and systems is also crucial to patch vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers. Keeping systems up to date ensures that known security flaws are addressed promptly. Additionally, organizations should educate their employees about SS-7 threats. Knowledgeable employees are less likely to fall victim to social engineering attacks that exploit SS-7 vulnerabilities. Providing regular training on best practices for cybersecurity helps ensure that everyone in the organization is aware of the latest threats and knows how to respond effectively. Section 9. The Future of Communications Security. A Call for Action. The vulnerabilities in SS-7 are a stark reminder that our communication systems are not as secure as we might think. These vulnerabilities can be exploited by malicious actors to intercept calls and messages, track locations, and even commit fraud. Addressing these vulnerabilities requires a multifaceted approach involving collaboration between governments, telecommunication companies, and security researchers. Each of these stakeholders has a critical role to play in ensuring the security and integrity of our communication networks. Governments need to enact stricter regulations and standards for telecommunication security. This includes updating existing laws to address new threats and ensuring that companies comply with these regulations. They also need to invest in research and development of secure communication technologies. By funding innovative projects and supporting cutting-edge research, governments can help drive the development of more secure systems. Telecommunication companies must prioritize security investments to strengthen their networks and protect their customers.
This means not only upgrading existing infrastructure, but also adopting new technologies that can provide better security. This includes implementing robust authentication mechanisms, monitoring their networks for suspicious activity, and responding swiftly to security incidents. Proactive measures can significantly reduce the risk of breaches and ensure a safer communication environment. Security researchers play a crucial role in identifying and reporting vulnerabilities, developing mitigation strategies, and raising awareness about the importance of communication security. Their work is essential in staying ahead of potential threats and ensuring that security measures are effective. The future of communication security depends on a collective effort to address the vulnerabilities in SS7 and build more resilient and secure communication systems for tomorrow. By working together, we can create a safer digital world where our communications are protected from malicious threats.